<laughs> we have a very sentimental value to other people. We are here to learn and teach one another our trades, our stuff that we know. As me, as a camper survivalist guy, I'm trying to show other people what I know, my opinion. You also try to show your opinion what you know about the woods or prepping or doing things that you like doing and you want to show the world and guess what there's always someone out there who's better than us and likes to brag about it oh I'm better than you I got you beat that kind of person is <laughs> well, I'm well, I'm Ranger Kookie, and I'm over here in one of my chatting and hiking video. I hope you come along and enjoy. I hope you come and follow me and let me show you how I learn stuff by doing or learning from others. That's the most important thing to me as a bushcrafter survival guy to learn from others that are out there teaching others how to survive but we got problems sometimes see right here i'm trying to uh, uh, i i uh, scrape this down and i put some um lint from the dryer and it's connecting all the the sap onto this thing See, I'm teaching you stuff that I can make fireballs with these, this item after I scrape it off. I'm teaching you something. I'm teaching you something new that you might not... Hey, i never seen that before. And I don't want to teach you. And there's people that sit. This is the, what I'm trying to get to. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to teach you. And when I'm sitting down at the table, I'm sitting at the round table. Not the square table. Because I think, and I do believe, you're equal to me, regardless if you don't know more than me. I might know more than you, but I'm not going to go around and brag that I know more than you. Because one thing, you might know something I don't know, so you know more than me. So when I sit down at the table, I sit at the round table. Because I think my brothers and sisters are equal to me, regardless of their knowledge. But I'm trying to show you my knowledge. And I hope you do the same. And there's people out there who think they sit at the square table. Saying they know more than us. Oh, I know more than all of you. I got you beat. I want to tell you some things about, my, about me. Every time I put out a challenge, I think of a scenario. Today's scenario, what I'm going to do. Okay, the five C's. I'm going to do the five C's. I'm going to do a scenario where somebody points a gun at me or I drop my equipment and only the item that I want stays in the bag. Two scenarios I had for the five C's. I always create a scenario for all of my challenges in my head. Then I put it out. But I never tell you about the scenarios why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, or what's going on. So the scenario of the five C's is like somebody point a gun at you and say, I want all your stuff, but I allow you to keep one. And the bad guy says, you can only keep one. Which one do you want? So that's my one of my scenarios of the five C's. The second scenario is you're on a cliff, and you have your bag on top, and you had just open it up because you wanted to get something out. And your bag tumbles down. You lost everything. But one item fell out right there by your feet. But the rest you can't retrieve because it went down the cliff. Damn you! So, what item do you wish dropped by your feet? 
So that was the scenario I created. There's a couple other scenarios I, I always, remember this, I always challenge myself in these challenges. Unless I've been tagged by somebody. I've only been tagged twice so far. One from Landman and one from Dolly Paladini. Landman was the feather stick challenge. I went through my mind. I'm like, how, can, how, how many ways you can do feather sticks? So I tried a new item. And it worked. And I showed you. Showed you this item works. Hey, you can bring it with you. And you can do this with it. I also had another item. It was the nutmeg, uh, nutmeg, uh, grinder to get my Maya dust. And I got my Maya dust that way. Then I got tagged by Dolly Paulinini to do a cook list of eight. I'm, uh, I have to get the, the list because it's uh, eight. You can't number eight things. Now, the situ uh, the sitter, uh, the tin bag situation. Now, I didn't use black bags. I didn't use purple bags. I didn't use green bags. I used heavy-duty restaurant bags. My scenario was I was on a plane or a boat. The boat crashed or sank. And the only thing I could find was these heavy-duty restaurant-grade bags. So now I got to use it to survive with. So I did my challenge with those bags. Like I said, I challenged myself in scenarios and I got to stick to my scenarios. But from now on, I'm going to tell you the scenarios, like the five C's. I'm ready to do my five C's. It's going to be probably right after the, the, the uh, bushcraft meeting. Or I might do some of it out there just to show other people what, what I can do. And show them what they can do too. It's helping one another. That's what this, this is what we, we're all about. Is to help one another. Not to, to say I'm better than you. I know more than you. You know when you say that. Guess what. That person on the other side of the camera. Watching your videos. Or at work. Says you don't know crap. You don't know squat. Shit. Yeah, I, this is a very rare curse, but it's upsetting that people go around saying, I know more than you. And what happens when you say that, people say, you don't know more than me. Thumbs down. Or at work. Bull crap, you don't know shit. And you get in an argument with that person. So the best thing to do is not to say you're better than anybody else. I always, me, myself, put myself down all the time. You could put me up, which I'll do. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Uh, back to my situation. Now, I tried to, or a plane crash. And the only thing I found was a box of heavy-duty trash bags. And I tried to survive with that. And I always correct myself in my videos. I say, well, I can't use a magnifying glass with this plastic, but this clear Ziploc bag I hold up can be used. But I said, this might not work, so you might need a clear plastic to order to get this done. So I correct myself before you do. So don't go around and tell like you knew more than me or you thought you knew more than me. You know, people don't appreciate when you say stuff like that or talk bad about other people. See, I'm not going to mention no one's name in any video unless I'm talking good about them. Always the positive, never the negative. I take all that negative and draw it in, suck it in, looked at it, and threw it all up as a positive way. Because us, brothers and sisters in bushcrafting, survival, doomsday prepping, prepping, we are here to teach one another our, our stuff. When you go around saying you know more, you're going to lose. I'm telling you, you're going to lose. So don't try to go around and say you know more than somebody else. Or don't talk bad about somebody on another channel because you're going to lose. Don't be a loser. Don't do that to yourself. Now, my brothers and sisters, if you're doing that, please... Don't do that.
because you're going to lose. Always bring yourself down like I do, and others will bring you up. You appreciate yourself more than bragging about you're better than everybody else in the world, and you the only one who sits at the square table, because you've been a bass. And you know when King Richard made the round table, and they only had one, so I don't agree to this. What happened to him? He went down. Don't be like that guy who went down. Be the other guys that were sitting at the round table and all agreeing with one another. And when we go to this meeting, we're not going to sit in a square. We're going to sit in a round circle. And we're going to all talk about our, 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 our stuff, what we are capable of doing. Some of us just going to sit there and be quiet. See, I'm a follower and a leader. I'd rather follow than lead any day of the week. But sometimes we do need leaders. Somebody might know something better. Hey, what's, all right, for example, I'm as a leader. Got a pack of people behind me. Let's go through here and go around and go that way. I'm up for, I'm like Captain Picard. Captain Picard says, any suggestions? And when somebody says, well, you see, there's a tree right there, and it might fall and kill us. Let's walk around it. And I'll say, hey, that's a good idea. You would like to lead. Usually some people say, no, 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 you lead. <laughs> but I'm a follower and a leader. I'm going to follow, and I'm going to lead. Because not everybody knows everything. Look how pretty this yard is. I'm going to try to do the five C's just with my mittens. It's going to be a bitch, but I'm going to try to do the five C's just using my mittens. Alright, back to the subject. A little bit more about me. Look! Bone! I thought I would never find bone out here. I found some bones. Huh. Good bones too. I can make a knife out of this. All right, we'll put this up. Huh? I thought I'd never find bone, and I found bone. That I could use that as a knife. All right, back to my other subject. This is my hiking and chatting video. So don't don't be a Mr. Badass, because somebody's go do this to you don't think you know everything because they're gonna do this to you you know at, do, a, do a trial at work go around and say you the best I know everything and watch how many people say a comment to you or tell a friend he don't know shit I, I see that all the time oh I know everything I do everything and guess what other people comment many you walk away guess what they say that motherfucker don't know crap. Sorry for my language. Damn you, Bowen. I'm just mad and frustrated. But I'm trying to make it all positive and not a negative. Because a negative brings out the evil out you. <laughs> Alright, see how many minutes this has been. Alright, I got one more minute. But, uh, don't, don't try to be the best. Because you're not. Somebody's going to beat you. See, when I was growing up, I told myself, there's always somebody better than me out here. I'm not going to brag I'm the best. I'm just going to do what I do. I'm not. I'm going to show everybody, hey, he knows what he's doing. But he's not bragging. I like that. He don't brag. Don't brag. People hate when you brag. So that's me. This is me. I don't like to brag. Because bragging just brings the negative out of people. Towards you, towards me, basically. So I don't do the negative. I don't try to be like, oh, I'm the best. Oh, yeah. Believe in me. I'm the best. No. Go over there and start working on it. Hey, look, there's some fat wood. I'm going to show you how I use this fat wood, even though this is not fat wood, but oh, I'm going to show you how to use this. Okay? See how I'm doing that? Yeah, see? Simple. Now, you sp I'll explain to you how I use that piece of wood. I don't have to brag, oh, I know everything about that piece of wood. 
then guess what? Somebody's going to comment, Oh no, you're wrong, sir. You're wrong. That's not a fat wood. That's a piece of wood. Well, it is a piece of wood. There's no fat wood in this thing. Anyway, plus it's oak, so it's not going to be fat wood. Somebody's going to comment saying, Oh, that's not fat wood. That's oak. Which is a piece of oak. Right there. Just hang right here. People do not like you to correct them. So I try not to correct no one unless it's a funny correction. Um, I try not to bring no one down because their spirits are high teaching you how to do something. And you, evil, or whatever you want to call yourself, put them down because you want to leave a negative comment. So, like I said, don't be Mr. Know-it-all because people are going to say you're nothing. You're a piece of crap. You don't know crap. You don't do crap. You're nothing. You're a piece of crap. Say you know everything. You don't know crap. Even the person behind the camera or anywhere in the world and you say you know the best, even though they don't know how to do something or take this knife out this pouch, out of this case, don't know how to do it, will tell you you don't know how to do it. Trust me, I've been there. I've seen it. I heard it. People do that. Don't know jack. And still tell you you don't know how to do it because you told them you know more than them. So they're going to look at you and do that to you regardless if they know or not. So don't be a negative person. Being negative is just going to be more negative towards you. You're going to lose. I'm telling you, you're going to lose that fight. Look at my junkyard. It's a junkyard. Alright, now, from now on, any of my challenge to myself, I will tell you the details, why I'm doing the challenge, what kind of scenario I'm going to make it into, like the five C's. My scenario is, I I can say I got dropped off in the middle of the woods as an army man, or I'm an army guy, or a plane crash, or a boat crash. And always remember, your five C's are all depends on where you at. A lot of you guys got it right, like I thought you, some of you guys would say. See, I'm, I'm downsizing, y'all. I can be downsized too. But a lot of you got it right on the market, saying it depends on where you at, is what, what five C's you want to keep. So I'm going to try to use my mittens to make the five C's. Finding the objects to do it and how to do it. It's going to be a very, very hard and extreme challenge for me. Um, my, uh, I'll, make, I'll, I'll tell you the scenario in that video, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait for that video. All right. I hope you enjoy this the hiking and chatting video. I hope you subscribe and like my channel, or like this video. And those for who are, are my newcomers, you have a chance to win those prizes. This do the RV to my 200 subs, and you're going to a list.